Hello guys, I'm Ajit Khan and we are back with another tutorial and this time it is about spot instances in AWS. So uh, let me tell you about spot instances first. So uh, basically you have your on-demand instances which keeps on running and you have to pay the hourly charges for it. And uh, spot instances are those instances. Uh, uh, for example, AWS have certain uh, certain amount of hardware which is available twenty four seven and which is uh, which is not in use actually. So AWS offers to use those hardwares and compute resources on a very cheaper price. So what happens is there should there could be a uh, resource available so you can place your bid that you want certain type of instance at a particular price say for example uh, you want c3 dot large instance at a price of say 0 0.10 dollar per hour so this could be the price you can demand off and if you actually see the price for this then the on demand price is uh, 0 0.105 so uh, maybe you can demand it for 0 0.05 uh, which could be cheaper for you so you can bid at a particular rate or maybe the best possible uh, minimum rate in the market and uh, you can if the hardware is available then you can get that instance up and running so this is how you pay less for the same compute resource and in case if somebody else require that hardware if somebody else places a bid for c3 dot large and if aws don't have a, a, another resource available then it will terminate yours and it will give it to someone else then in that case your instance will get terminated so this is how the spot instances works so let's start by launching a spot instance so here is our ec2 dashboard and here is the option for spot ins request so uh, you can request for spot instances from this button here you can specify what kind of request type is yours so request uh, is the simple request type uh, submit one time spot instance request and if you want to request and maintain certain uh, number of instances then you can choose this one otherwise you can choose this one reserve for duration so reserve for duration is like um, you can request instances to run for certain amounts of hours like you can uh, you can request to run your c3 dot large for at least one to six hours so it, it will uh, it will at least spawn those instances for those particular hours even if somebody else is bidding on higher price so as of now in this example we will uh, we will do a simple request type now the target capacity you can specify is that you want one instance to instance or you can uh, break it down to number of cores that you want this much number of cores so as of now we will keep it to number of instances and we are uh, asking for one instance only and uh, here you can choose the AMI so this is the default Linux AMI this is a one to one so I'll be choosing this one now uh, from here you can select multiple uh, or maybe uh, whatever instance type you want so as of now I'll be uh, choosing the c3 dot large which have two core of CPU and four gigs of RAM now comes allocate strategy so uh, the lowest price is automatically select the cheapest availability zone instance type so this is the default one and diversify is balance spot instance across selected multiple zones so we are keeping this one 
and uh, this is the network you want in so i am choosing the default vpc you can launch in some other vpc as well and if you prefer to specify some az then you can specify it here maximum price so uh, here you can uh, bid your price or maybe uh, maybe you can use the automatic bidding so it will automatically place the bidding on behalf of you so you don't need to worry about uh, what amount you should bid and it will automatically place the bidding amount which is as lowest as possible so here comes the next page uh, this is the configuration uh, configure storage part and here we are saying that we want the default 8 gigs of uh, storage and the uh, storage type is gp2 now comes the instance details and uh, uh, if you want to enable detailed monitoring you can click on this else not and tenancy is default uh, this means that you want to uh, run your instance on a shared hardware and if you want to specify user data, certain script or certain uh, commands that should be executed on the launch of instance, with that you can specify here. And if you are not familiar with user data, you can watch our previous video tutorial in which we have uh, uh, we have explained how to use user data field while launching an instance. So as of now, I'm not giving any user data. Uh, let us specify a key name and the value is demo spot now uh, the key pair name you can specify here so i'll be using the kubectl key pair which i created for my last tutorial for the kubernetes so uh, make sure that you have your uh, your key pair else you can create a new one as of now i'll be using this one only if you have any IAM uh, profile then you can specify here you can uh, you can use your security group so I am using the default one and uh, auto assign public IP so the instance will be having a public IP as the default setting is enabled next setting is request validity time so one thing is request valid from so it would be from now onwards or you can specify some data as well and request valid until so uh, i'm leaving it for the default one so uh, when you submit your request so it would be valid until one from year uh, one year from now So whether you uh, this checkbox is regarding whether to terminate your instance at expiration or not so I am leaving uh, this as default and then you will have this review of all the settings which you have given and you can see the or you can download it the config JSON to use it with AWS CLI so you can request this for instance using your AWS CLI or AWS SDK uh, so you can use this JSON in your scripts or certain automation if you are using so this would be helpful there so after revising all the settings which you have given here you can simply click on launch and it says success uh, our spot request has been created so the state is submitted and uh, right now there are no instances running and here you can see the events so as of now there is no history once the state changes uh, we hope to see an instance running which is off okay here comes our instance so instance has started launching and the status is active now and if you see history fleet request change status is submitted and here you can find all the details which we provided the max price is this again uh, let's see if we have our instance okay so our instances is initializing state 
is the public IP and uh, we have chosen the key pen name as kubectl so I'll, I already have this one so we'll try to SSH in this instance it is still in initializing state the public IP so this is how you try to SSH in the required instance SSH then identity file the path to identity file and then the user you are trying to SSH with and the public DNS or the public IP let's see if we are able to SSH into this or not here we are so we are inside our spot instance and which have approximately 3.5 gigs of RAM or 3.7 in all so so this is how to launch your spot instance I hope you like the tutorial keep learning keep sharing do like us and subscribe thanks for watching